Update 1 on Cyclone Lihar, which is currently located to the west of the Andaman Islands with winds of 80 miles per hour right now and a central pressure of 970 millibars. That's a Category 1 hurricane on the uh, Saffir Simpson hurricane scale. Its current position is 12.2 degrees north, 91.1 degrees east as of 9pm UTC on November 25th. The storm is expected to move towards the uh, west-northwest generally, eventually making landfall in India, the Andhra Pradesh coastline in particular, where we could see sustained winds of over 110 miles per hour. That's certainly a possibility over there. We could see a Category 3 landfall, but at the moment it's a Category 2 landfall being predicted, uh, though in past updates we have seen po the potential for possibly a Category 3 storm making landfall there. Uh, but either way, it's certainly going to be um, inclement conditions over there in the next few days. Sea surface temperatures are fairly warm right now, around at 28 to 29 degrees Celsius, perhaps touching 30, not too far from where the storm is currently located, off to the southwest. Uh, but certainly not too bad for cyclone development. The computer models then, the CMC first of all, has the storm moving towards the west-northwest as forecasted and another storm forming in a few days time and affecting Sri Lanka by the looks of things, uh, which would be interesting to see. We also have a storm forming in the western Pacific affecting the Mariana Islands, um, according to the CMC model in a few days time. The GFS has no such thing, nor does it have a storm for Sri Lanka, it only has the current storm Lihar moving towards the west-northwest making landfall in Andhra Pradesh in the next two days. So looking at the latest satellite imagery, the storm has been intensifying gradually over the past few days. Um, it reached uh, at hurricane equivalent intensity just in the past 12 to 18 hours and is now up to 80 miles per hour. So gradual intensification going on at the moment, not quite as fast as what was initially forecasted. But we could still see a significant storm affecting India in the next few days. A landfall, as I said earlier, possibly 110 miles per hour or above sustained winds. Um, but at the moment it looks like we're going to see some gradual intensification, possibly clearing out a little bit towards the centre of the storm there, you can see on that infrared imagery, um, possibly an eye beginning to appear. But uh, we'll see how that goes over the next 12 to 24 hours, we'll probably get a better indication of how the storm's going to go in the next few days. So around the world tropics right now it's fairly quiet, uh, the only thing is go the the only thing going on is Lihar, which is currently located in the Bay of Bengal. Of course, nothing else going on around the world right now. Not even any invests, areas of interest that are developing. The remnants of Alicia are still going over Australia somewhere, but really there's not much left of that. Uh, this is the Indian Ocean. You can see a little bit of disturbance around the equator, but that doesn't appear to be anything significant. Uh, of course, we have Lihar moving towards the west-northwest. Nothing going on in the South China Sea over towards the east either. So 2013 compared, it's the 12th busiest season on record in the North Indian Ocean with five tropical storms so far, two of which reaching hurricane intensity and one of those reaching major hurricane intensity not too long ago. That was Cyclone Phelan, of course, which reached Category 5 intensity. Uh, this one will probably not get quite as strong, but we could still see a significant cyclone over the next few days and those along the eastern coast of India should be preparing. You can track this storm and indeed any of the storms that form at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking .html. That's all the main information for you on that page um, of all the storms around there, including post tropical storms and invests. And you can also find us elsewhere on the web at Facebook and Twitter to search force13 on either of those mediums and you should find us fairly easily enough. If you wish to send a comment directly to me, you can do so by sending a private message to a YouTube or by the contact form on the website and I'll get back to you in, um, in a reasonable amount of time, hopefully. Um, the next update on this storm will probably follow at around the same time tomorrow, 9pm UTC, November 26th.